So this morning I'm doing something a little different. I'm actually in my van, my camping van, and I'm down in Virginia because I have a wedding that I need to do this weekend. I left yesterday because of the weather forecast for today was calling for rain all day and I didn't want to travel in the rain. I suppose that's wisdom. Last night I slept in this van and I'll tell you what, it was noisy last night as the rain came through here, very heavy at times. I want to share with you some ideas about grief. It's sort of interesting. I never thought a lot about it, although I've experienced it. I've had the death of my, one of my daughters passed away about a year and a half ago. Of course, my parents have passed away a number of years ago, a brother. One of the difficult times in my grief experience was the loss of a set of twins that my granddaughter experienced. It was hard for me and still is hard even now. But what brought me to this was, well, the loss of my companion, Abby, my Jack Russell. I needed to put her down the other day and I knew that was coming and we had talked about it, or at least I thought about it for, for quite a while before we ever did it. But it's interesting that grief takes on different parts or different aspects in a person's life. I was looking through the scriptures this morning about what does grief do and what is it about in the scriptures and of course in Ecclesiastes there says there's a time to grieve, a time to mourn, a time for joy, all of it. And it's comical to me how differently we respond to different things in our lives when it comes to grief. And I talked to my wife about that because it's surprising to me my response with a dog. And yet, it was, there it was, it was looking at me in the face. And the question is, is, well, what do we do with it? Well, part of it is I believe we need to embrace it. Grief is not a bad thing. It's not something we should run away from, but we don't like it. I know we don't like it, and I know that we'd like to get through it and past it and into something else. But it takes time. It takes time, and the process is difficult. I believe that's why God says that he comforts those who mourn. Those who mourn. Mourning is grieving. Grieving. And it's something that is, well, not always easy for any of us. I'm going to challenge you to think about your grieving processes in your life. Maybe you haven't had time to grieve, and maybe that's part of it. We need to take that time, and we need to acknowledge what it is is going on in our heart of hearts that's affecting us. You see, it's okay to grieve. We know that Jesus wept at the death of Lazarus. So... I want to encourage you, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward and don't allow grief to overtake you. Let God's Spirit overtake you as you walk through this journey. Hey, until next time, God bless.